So the book that I'm going to share with you today is Here We Are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers. And Oliver Jeffers is one of my most favorite um, author and illustrators. And he wrote some of my most favorite books, which my class has read, which is called Stuck. And it's a pretty funny book about persistence and problem solving. And the other book is um, the Incredible Book Eating Boy, which I love to read because I love reading. So uh, we're going to follow along here. How to find your way whenever you are get lost. There's the North Star, you got the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, and then you can use those things to help you find North. So he wrote this book for um, his son Harland. He wrote the book in his first two months of Harland's life as he tried to um, kind of make sense of the world for Harland. And um, he wrote down some things that he think Harland should know. So our solar system. That's the sun, here we are. If you look over in the bottom corner, um, it says probably not to scale, meaning this drawing isn't exact, the size, how far everything is away from us. Um, and he put down Pluto in there is that he's it's our favorite dwarf planet. Well, hello. Welcome to this planet we call it Earth. It is the big globe floating in space on which you live. We're glad you found us, as space is very big. There is much to see and do here on Earth, so let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts, land, rock and dirt, and the sea, water. Firstly, let's talk about land. It's what we are standing on right now. We know lots about land. Cold, pointy, really hot, bumpy, flat, dry, hot, wet. Then there is the sea, which is full of wonderful things. We know a bit about the sea, but we'll talk more about that once you've learned to swim. Some things I like on this page is that they have the iceberg, which my picture is blocking, and um, which is kind of cute, and uh, that it goes nearly seven miles deep. There's the sky, though that can get pretty complicated. And on this, they talk about the Milky Way, the atmosphere, constellations, stars, how the sun and the moon work, other planets, and clouds, weather. Okay, moving on. On our planet, there are people. One people is a person. You are a person. You have a body. There's a head, brain, arms, belly, heart, bones, lungs, legs. Look after it, as most bits don't grow back. On it, it wrote bits, bits that do grow back, hair and nails. The most important things for people to remember are to eat and to drink and stay warm. People come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. We may all look different, act different, and sound different. But don't be fooled, we are all people. There are animals too. They come in even more shapes, sizes, and colors. They can't speak, though that's no reason not to be nice to them. And on this page, I have two things that I really, really enjoy. There's the parrot that at the bottom of the second page says, I can, you know, meaning he can speak. <laughs> and then there's a dodo bird, and I'm gonna see if you can find him. Um, and the dodo bird is an extinct animal. And he says, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here. You may not be able to speak yet either, even though your head is full of questions. Be patient. You'll learn how to use words soon enough. Remember, he wrote this for Harland. Generally, how it works is that when the sun is out, it is daytime, and we do stuff. The rest of the time is night, when it's dark, safe for the moon, and we sleep. And then there's the baby in there, with a little hammer he wants to play. He says, please. I don't know if sleeping with the hammer is a good idea. Things move slowly here on Earth. 
sometimes. More often though, they move quickly. So use your time well. We'll be gone before you know it. Though we have come a long way, we haven't quite worked everything out, so there's plenty left for you to do. You will figure out lots of things for yourself, and just remember to leave notes for everyone else. It looks big, Earth, but there are lots of us on here. 7,327,450, oops, sorry, I said that wrong. 7 million, 7 billion, 327 million, 450,667 and counting. So be kind. There's enough for everyone. Well, that is planet Earth. Make sure you look after it as it is all we've got. Now, if you need to know anything else, just ask. I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. You're never alone on earth. And here's a couple quotes that the author really enjoyed. One of them is by Dr. Sally Ride. She's an astronomer, an astronaut and a physicist. Looking back and seeing your planet as a planet is just an amazing feeling. It is a totally different perspective that makes you appreciate actually how fragile our existence is. Then the second quote is by the author's dad, all around good person. There are only three words you need to live by, son, respect, consideration, and tolerance. So, oh, and I forgot the back page. So how to find, how to find your way whenever you get lost. So like they said, the North, which way to figure out north. Um, on this one, you have the Southern Cross. You have um, pointers, the South Celestial Pole, and you have Arcturiot. And then I'll help you find some. Um, so the reason I wanted to read you this book is we're kind of ending the year, and this year was definitely crazy and weird. But we as your teachers and we as adults that care for you, wanted to make sure that you know that we care for you still and that you will have a great summer and you will be amazing in fifth grade. So on the next slide, we want you to figure out some words of wisdom you could pass on to the next fourth grade class, thinking about what things you found wonderful in the school year, what advice, and maybe how to be inspiring 